We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Now, astronomers have captured that moment live. Four of the most powerful telescopes on Earth and in space have just dropped a bombshell. For months, astronomers believed 3i slash Atlas was just another interstellar comet, a frozen wanderer passing through our solar system. But now, after an unprecedented global investigation, the evidence is undeniable. This object is not what we thought. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered chemistry that simply shouldn't exist. Hubble has captured images that defy every rule of comet behavior. The very large telescope in Chile has detected elements that point to an ancient and alien origin. And NASA's brand new SphereX mission has revealed a size so massive it left researchers stunned. Together, these discoveries paint a picture that shatters every assumption scientists have held about interstellar visitors. 3i slash Atlas is bigger, stranger, and older than anything we've seen before. It's rewriting the textbooks in real time, and its mysteries are only deepening as it races closer to the inner solar system. This is the story of how four telescopes, each working from different corners of the Earth and beyond, uncovered a cosmic enigma that may forever change how we understand comets and the galaxy itself. On a quiet night in early July 2025, astronomers running the Atlas survey in Hawaii caught something strange. Their wide-field telescopes designed to scan the skies for dangerous near-Earth asteroids flagged an object moving against the background of stars. At first, it looked ordinary, just another icy traveler drifting in from the outer reaches of the solar system. But the trajectory told a different story. This visitor wasn't bound to the sun. Its path was hyperbolic, cutting through our solar system on a one-way ticket. Just like Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, it was confirmed as an interstellar object, only the third ever detected. That's why astronomers designated it 3Y slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar intruder discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. The excitement was immediate. Interstellar objects are like cosmic messengers, carrying clues about the environments where other stars and planets form. They're rare, fleeting, and impossible to chase once they pass. But this time, something felt different. Unlike the slender, tumbling rock of Oumuamua or the relatively small and icy Borisov, Atlas seemed bigger, brighter, and more complex. Within days, observatories around the world pivoted their instruments. Astronomers knew they had only a small window before Atlas slipped away forever. What they didn't know was that this object was about to challenge everything we thought we understood about comets, planets, and the birth of solar systems themselves. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward 3Y slash Atlas, astronomers expected confirmation of what they already believed, that it was a comet behaving more or less like comets do. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph is designed to decode the chemical fingerprints of distant objects, pulling secrets out of faint starlight. But instead of reassurance, what Webb found sent shockwaves through the scientific community. In every known comet, whether orbiting our own sun or flying in from deep space, water vapor is king. When sunlight warms the icy surface, water sublimates and drives the dramatic tails we see stretching across the night sky. Even Borisov, the last interstellar comet, showed this classic water-dominated profile. But Atlas broke that rule completely. Its coma, the hazy envelope surrounding its nucleus, wasn't dominated by water vapor at all. It was saturated with carbon dioxide. Webb measured a staggering CO2 to water ratio of over 8 to 1, a number so extreme it dwarfs every comet ever studied. Imagine a world where water is scarce, almost irrelevant, and carbon dioxide shapes the entire environment. That's the alien chemistry Webb uncovered. The implications are enormous. For decades, scientists have assumed that comets, no matter where they come from, form under similar conditions. Icy zones around young stars, where water freezes and builds planetary blocks. But Atlas seems to have been born in a completely different nursery, maybe near a CO2 ice line, or in a radiation-heavy region where water was stripped away. This wasn't just an odd data point. It was a direct challenge to comet science itself. Webb had revealed that our solar system may not be the standard blueprint, and that other star systems could produce worlds built from entirely different chemistry. While Webb dissected the chemistry of 3i slash Atlas, the Hubble Space Telescope was busy capturing its appearance in stunning detail. On July 21st, Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 locked onto the comet, focusing on its nucleus and the glowing halo of dust and gas surrounding it. What astronomers expected was a fairly standard snapshot, a fuzzy ball with a trailing tail, the textbook image of a comet, but what emerged was anything but ordinary. The first shot came from size estimates of the nucleus. Normally, these calculations fall within a narrow range, but Atlas baffled scientists with wildly different numbers. 
Depending on the model, its core could be as small as 300 meters or as large as over 5 kilometers across. Such a huge gap suggested an irregular, complex shape, perhaps even a fractured or multi-lobed body unlike anything we've cataloged before. Then came the coma. Instead of a symmetrical cloud of dust and gas, Atlas displayed a teardrop-shaped plume stretching unevenly into space. A faint, dusty tail trailed behind it, but its structure was strange and inconsistent. Even more puzzling was the activity driving it. Typically, comets erupt with jets of water vapor, carbon monoxide, and other familiar volatiles. But in Atlas, these signatures were practically absent. Instead, Hubble revealed a nucleus shedding material in an entirely new way, asymmetric, irregular, and faintly chaotic. It wasn't following the rules we thought applied to every comet. For astronomers who had spent their careers modeling cometary dynamics, this was like watching a play with half the script missing. Atlas wasn't just unusual, it was rewriting the definition of cometary activity itself. The question was clear. If Hubble's eyes were showing us a comet that didn't behave like one, then what exactly were we looking at? If Hubble raised eyebrows, the Very Large Telescope in Chile raised them even higher. Using its high-powered spectroscopic instruments, astronomers peeled back another layer of 3Y-Atlas on August 21st, studying the faint light reflected from its coma and nucleus. Spectroscopy acts like a cosmic fingerprint, revealing the unique set of elements and molecules locked inside. What they found was unlike anything in our solar system. The VLT confirmed the presence of cyanide, a molecule not unheard of in comets, but still fascinating because of its connection to prebiotic chemistry, the raw ingredients for life. But alongside it, scientists detected something astonishing. Nickel, metallic nickel, the kind forged in the fiery heart of dying stars, is almost never found in comets. In fact, spotting it here was so bizarre that researchers initially thought they were seeing noise in the data, but it wasn't noise. Nickel was there, mixed into the icy body of Atlas, suggesting it had once passed through an environment saturated with heavy elements. This immediately changed the narrative. Comets in our solar system form far from the sun, in regions dominated by lighter ices like water and carbon monoxide. But Atlas's fingerprint told a different story, one born near ancient stellar explosions where metals fused in supernova cores became part of its very makeup. This wasn't just a comet, it was a relic, a time capsule carrying material more than 7 billion years old, forged before our solar system even existed. In its nickel signature lay proof that Atlas wasn't just foreign, it was carrying the history of long-dead stars from across the galaxy. Just when astronomers thought they had seen it all, NASA's SphereX mission delivered a discovery that left even seasoned researchers speechless. Between August 8th and 12th, SphereX turned its instruments toward 3I-Atlas, focusing on measurements of its size and mass. What it revealed was jaw-dropping. The nucleus could be as large as 46 kilometers across. For context, that's nearly 10 times bigger than earlier estimates and makes Atlas millions of times more massive than previous interstellar visitors like Borisov or Oumuamua. To put it another way, Atlas isn't just a visitor. It's a behemoth, a cosmic heavyweight traveling at interstellar speeds. But the sheer size wasn't the only shock. A body this massive, with such an active coma, should have been visible long before July 2025. Yet it wasn't. Somehow, this giant managed to sneak into the solar system undetected until the Atlas survey picked it up by chance. How is that possible? The answer may lie in its unusual chemistry and irregular structure. With a carbon dioxide-dominated composition and a chaotic surface, Atlas may scatter and absorb light in ways that fooled previous sky surveys. In other words, it disguised its brightness, cloaking itself until it was already deep into our neighborhood. This has left scientists with a haunting question. If an object this large could slip past us unnoticed, what else might be hiding in the dark? Are there other interstellar giants roaming silently between the stars, waiting for the right trajectory to bring them close? With SphereX's findings, Atlas wasn't just the largest interstellar visitor yet. It was proof that the universe may be teeming with colossal travelers we've never seen, simply because we weren't looking the right way. By late August, it wasn't just one telescope or one research team sounding alarms. A coordinated global effort had sprung into action, uniting observatories on Earth and in orbit. From Hawaii's mountaintops to Chile's deserts, from the James Webb in deep space to ESA's upcoming missions, the world's finest instruments were now locked onto 3I-Atlas. This campaign was unprecedented. Normally, comets are studied piecemeal. One observatory catches a glimpse here, another collects data there. But Atlas was different. It was moving fast, changing daily, and every observation mattered. So astronomers formed what was essentially a planetary task force. 
The Atlas Discovery Network, stretching across Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa, coordinated observations around the clock, while space telescopes filled in the gaps. What makes this so remarkable is how perfectly the data aligned. Webb's chemistry matched Hubble's images. VLT's spectroscopy confirmed what SphereX had hinted at. Independent teams, using completely different instruments, were all pointing to the same conclusion. 3i slash Atlas wasn't just unusual, it was breaking every mold. This level of agreement matters. Science is built on replication. One observation can be dismissed, but four independent world-class telescopes all saying the same thing? That's certainty. For many researchers, it was the strongest confirmation they'd ever seen in cometary science. Atlas wasn't slipping through unnoticed anymore. It was under constant surveillance, every twist of its coma and every flicker of its light recorded. And with every new observation, the mystery only deepened. By now, one thing was becoming impossible to ignore. Calling 3 i slash Atlas a comet might not even be accurate. Yes, it had a coma. Yes, it had a faint tail. But the deeper scientists dug, the more the label comet felt like forcing a square peg into a round hole. Comets in our solar system obey certain rules. They shed water vapor. They flare with familiar volatiles. Their tails behave in predictable ways under the push of solar radiation. Atlas broke all of those rules. Its chemistry was dominated by carbon dioxide, not water. Its activity wasn't powered by jets of gas, but by something far stranger, shedding dust in chaotic plumes that made no sense under current models. Even its tail defied expectations. Instead of streaming neatly away from the sun, Atlas displayed what astronomers call an anti-tail, a streak of dust pointing in the wrong direction, as if mocking the very physics that governs every other comet we know. These anomalies left scientists asking an unsettling question. Was Atlas even a comet at all? Or was it something new? A type of interstellar object never before seen, carrying chemistry and physics that belong to another galaxy's rulebook? If so, Atlas wasn't just an outlier. It was a preview of how alien planetary systems might truly look, a hint that the universe doesn't always follow our textbook definitions, and maybe never did. The clock is ticking. In just weeks, 3i slash Atlas will reach its closest approach to the red planet. On October 3rd, it will sweep past Mars at a distance of roughly 18.6 million miles, close enough for spacecraft orbiting the planet to get a front row seat to history. For astronomers, this isn't just exciting, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. ESA's Mars Express and the Trace Gas Orbiter are already primed to capture every detail. These spacecraft weren't built to chase comets, but engineers are adapting their instruments for the moment. By turning their cameras and spectrometers toward Atlas, they hope to measure its gases study its dust environment, and maybe even detect unexpected chemistry in real time. The Mars encounter will be a proving ground. For decades, astronomers have relied on Earth-based telescopes and a handful of flyby missions to study comets. But this time, the instruments in orbit around another planet will act as secondary observers, giving a completely different perspective. If all goes well, they'll provide an independent check on what Webb, Hubble, VLT, and SphereX have already revealed. But the window is painfully short. After its Mars flyby, Atlas will swing around the sun on October 29th, vanishing into solar glare for nearly a month. When it re-emerges in December, it will be fainter, harder to study, and speeding toward the edge of the solar system. By early 2026, it will be gone for good, slipping back into the dark between the stars. That's why astronomers are treating this Mars encounter as their final golden chance. Every second of data counts, because once Atlas is gone, the secrets it carries about alien nurseries, dead stars, and interstellar chemistry will vanish with it, perhaps forever. When future generations look back, 3i slash Atlas may be remembered as the object that changed everything. For decades, comets were treated as icy leftovers, simple relics from the early solar system. But Atlas proved they can be far more than that. It showed us that interstellar visitors are not just curiosities. They are living archives of alien star systems, carrying chemistry and materials that don't exist here. In its carbon dioxide-rich coma, we saw evidence of planets and stars forming under conditions we never imagined. In its nickel signature, we glimpsed the fingerprints of long-dead suns. In its impossible size, we realized the universe may be full of hidden giants. And in its chaotic behavior, we learned that our rules for comet activity might only apply to this small corner of the galaxy. The implications stretch far beyond astronomy. If alien comets can carry heavy metals, exotic chemistry, and organic molecules across billions of years, then they are messengers of possibility, bringing with them hints of life's ingredients from star systems we've never seen. Soon, 3i slash Atlas will fade into the distance, just another faint dot swallowed by the night sky. But what it leaves behind is bigger than data and discoveries. It leaves us with humility. 
The reminder that our solar system is not the standard, but one example among countless others, and that the universe, vast and ancient, is far stranger, richer, and more mysterious than we ever dared to believe. And if this discovery shook you as much as it shook scientists, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video so more people can witness how our understanding of the cosmos is being rewritten before our eyes. Because this is just the beginning. The next interstellar messenger could already be on its way.